4.2 part A asks the 90th percentile is how many standard deviations above the mean? Okay, so in this picture, this is our normal, uh, normal distribution. The mean is at zero, or centered at zero, zero standard deviations. And we want to know if we got 90% of the population to the left of this cutoff line, we want to know how many standard deviations this cutoff line is. So in our table, I am looking for the value 0.9000. Okay, the closest I can find, I have 1.28, which is equal to 0.8997, and I have 1.29, which is equal to 0.9015. These are the closest to 0.9000 I can find in, in the table right here. Okay, And so between the two numbers, 1.28 is closer. So the answer will be 1.28 standard deviations above the mean. Okay. or basically z is equal to 1.28. Part b is very similar, except it asks the 10th percentile of a normal distribution is how many standard deviations below the mean. So I'm going to just write 10th percentile is has what z-score? So in this case, a normal distribution looks like that. We have 10% over here. And again, we can look in our table. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you a little shortcut. Because we've got 90% to the left over here, that means we have 10% over there. And because it's symmetric, if we have 10% over here, we'll, we will have uh, 90 percent over here and based on the symmetry our answer is going to be 1.28 negative negative 1.28 but if you verify with the table if you try to find 0 0.1000 in our table indeed we find the two closest values are going to be negative 1.28 um, which corresponds to an area of 0 0.1003 and negative 1.29, which corresponds to an area of 0 0.0985. And again, the one that's closer is negative 1.28, so our answer here is negative 1.28. Z is equal to negative 1.28. Problem 4.2.